Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of clothes and just items that I got from Italy and they're like right here. Sorry this background's kind of weird right now. I just really wanted to sit somewhere where there's like good lighting because there's windows in front of me and this is our little like family room in our apartment. Um, but there's like some weird wires back there with the TV and stuff and Luis is taking out the trash down our like trash chute right now so don't mind that. Um, but yeah, I just got a bunch of stuff in Italy that I wanted to show you guys. And I know a bunch of you were like, please do an Italy haul, so I'm going to do that. And then there's some stuff I got before that I'm just going to show you at the end um, to prepare for Italy. And then some stuff that I actually got after. I wanted it to come in time for Italy, but it didn't, but that's okay. Also, this, you probably can't even really tell. It's not much of a difference, but I just got my hair done this morning. So no more roots, yay! And it's, um, yeah, really blonde and fun, so that's that. Oh, wait, actually... This is from Italy. I guess I can just start with this. So this just says Firenze. Is that how you say it in Italian? Firenze? I don't know. But it just means Florence in Italian. And I got it from Brandy Melville. And it's really funny that I go to Brandy Melville when we're like in Florence because, yeah, there's Brandy Melville in America. So I got two other shirts. I got a red one and a white one of a shirt that I actually already have. It's a cropped v-neck. And I'm so obsessed with the gray one that I have that I knew I wanted other colors. So I just got the white one. And then I also got the red one because I thought they were so pretty. Maybe next I'll show you, maybe like kind of in order of like chronologically what I got. I got a white gold and gold necklace and bracelet. This was the first day actually that Maggie and I had our first full day in Venice. And our trip went like Venice, Florence, Rome. We were there for eight days total I want to say. And... It was with the company EF Ultimate Break, so if you haven't watched my vlogs, definitely go do that. And I know I'm, like, finishing them up right now. So, it just came in this red little case. And, pro tip, if you have a purchase that you want to, like, a big purchase that you're planning to make on, um, like, jewelry, handbags, stuff like that, and you know that they have them in Europe, wait to go get them in Europe because then they will be tax-free because things that you buy in, like, France, Italy, stuff like that, you'll pay tax on but then when you go to the airport you get a tax refund and you don't end up paying taxes so it ends up being like a lot cheaper than America if it's something that's really expensive because you know like the percentage of tax on like a more expensive thing will be like more than yeah hey Louisa what up girl <laughs> I was like don't mind we have a lot going on right now basically we went in there because Maggie saw a necklace that she liked and she actually got this exact necklace but in all gold here wait I'll come close you can see it's like that and I don't know if you can see, it's like white gold and gold little balls that just kind of are alternating. And I really like that because it goes perfectly with my rings, if this will focus. Yeah, it goes perfect. And then I just got the exact same thing, but in a bracelet because we tried on these necklaces and we were like, oh my gosh, we love. And then she's like, well, you need the matching bracelet. And this bracelet, I love, ah, I love with my Cartier, um, gold love bracelet just like simple when I take off my Hermes one here see like I think that just looks so cute together and I love the white gold and the gold together because it matches these rings like I said and I just thought it was a lot more mm, like chill in the gold like I tried on the gold and I felt like it wasn't me I felt like it was kind of too much but it was like perfect on Maggie so yeah I love those so much and then we got like a tax refund on them so we like save money that if you bought them here in America and I got so many questions on where we got them and the place was called Camila Venezia, and it was just in, like, the St. Mark's Square in Venice. It's just, like, a little jewelry boutique boutique type of store. I don't think they have, like, online or anything. They're just, like, a lot of small stores there, so that's that. Then I'm going to show you stuff from this place that I don't know what it's called, but it was a place in Florence, I want to say. It was on our way to Florence from Venice. We stopped in... Verona, maybe it was in Verona. I'm mixing it all up because we were in Venice, Florence, and Rome, but then in between Venice and Florence and then Florence and Rome, we stopped a couple places and went like shopping or sightseeing. So yeah, but I forget what it was called anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It was just like this little boutique store, and I noticed at this one that my pearl earrings had fallen out. And you guys know I always wear pearls, so it's so weird that I have like diamonds in right now. Um, but I saw these ones and I was like, these are so cute, they really went with my outfit. So I picked them up and wore them around all day and felt really fun. And then, yeah, when I got back, I was like, oh my gosh, I need studs, and I didn't have pearls, so I threw these little babies on, and it's really weird that I don't have pearls right now, because I'm such a pearl gal. And then I also got this shirt, Maggie and I both got this shirt, it says Sister Season, because we're always like, listen sis, and we call each other sis. That was really funny, I just saw your figure in the background, I got scared. But yeah, we always say sis and sister, and yeah, so we thought these were really cute, and just had to pick up that. And Zara was like a big 
place for us in Italy. We like went crazy in Zara and the Zara's in Europe are so much better than the Zara's in America. It's literally a proven fact because they like started there. So if you're in Europe, you gotta go to Zara. I know they have them in America, but it's just not the same. They have like really big ones. Um, oh wait, Gretchen, these pants were also from that place that I don't remember the name with sister season and the earrings. Um, these are just, wait, maybe it says on here. Oh wait, oh my gosh, I'm so mixed up. I thought this was from that place, but it says Zara woman on it. Okay. These are from Zara and they're medium and I don't know why I told you the size. Normally in pants will get mediums and tops will get smalls because that's just how I'm built, you know? But these are so perfect. They're like really flowy, tan, beige, like gaucho -y pants, but they really like cinch at the top. So I think they're so pretty and fun and flowy and they're like really comfy for the summer but you look like put together. So I really like those and apparently they're from Zara, I forgot. And then this dress is also from Zara. Maggie and I actually both got it. We were going to wear it on the same day together or I wanted to and she was like, no, that's weird. But um, I like love matching. I think it's so fun. So we both got this beige dress. I completely copied her. We were in the dressing room together trying stuff on and I was like, what is that? I need it. So yeah, we both got this dress. I think it runs a little big just because it's flowy. So I got a small and normally in dresses I'll get... A small or a medium, it depends. I just can't have dresses be too short on me because like I'm 5'9", so I normally have to go up to like a medium so that they're not like up my butt. But this is perfect and it's so cute and I love that it just ties right there. You can tie it in a knot or a bow, so I like that and I'm just gonna wear that all summer. When you see like 80 pictures in that, it's because it's my favorite. And then this I also, oh wait, dang it, guys. I'm gonna have everything linked down below that I can find in this video. Like the Zara stuff I'll be able to find, random boutique -y stuff from Italy I won't be able to find. Um, and then a bunch of stuff I'm going to show at the end from Express I'll be able to find, so I'll have everything linked down below in case you're wondering. Okay, then I saw this white little button up and I really liked it because I have another white button up from Reformation but it has a collar and I like that this one didn't have a collar and it just kind of like cuts like a little lower, thought it was more casual and yeah, it's super cute. I also think this one's a little big because it's a small and if it's kind of like loose so keep that in mind but I really, really like that. And then these jeans are so cute. Basically. Maggie and I would go to Zara so much. I think we went three or four times, and one of the first times we went, she got these jeans, and I thought they were so cute. I was like, they look so good on you. I remember telling her, she always is good at finding jeans that are a good wash. Like, she always finds really blue, blue jeans, which I like. Like, I don't know, just a really good color of them, and I thought they were so pretty. And then I was like, I don't need them. I have a bunch of jeans. And the next day, we actually met a subscriber in Italy, and she was so sweet, and she was studying abroad there, and she was wearing the exact same jeans, and I was like, oh my gosh. Like, now that you're wearing them too, I can just see like how beautiful they are and I really love them and I really need them. So then when we went back again, they had them and I was like, it's meant to be. How cute are these? They just look so cute on, they're so flattering. And I don't have that many Zara jeans, but I just love these. And I actually think these might run a little bit big too because I got a 36, which is a US 4. And I feel like my other jeans from Zara are a 38. But, I don't know, Zara's confusing for me for jeans. Like, I never know what size I am in their jeans. I just try on a pair until it fits. Um, but, yeah, I really like these, and they're super cute. Um, the last two things from Italy were big splurges. I just couldn't not get something from Gucci, is the truth of it. Because I know, I learned all about Gucci in my luxury marketing class, and how they were started in Italy, and I know, like, so much of, like, their history and origins and background. So, I was like, I need something from Gucci here. And this scarf just like jumped out at me. I thought it was so cute. And again, we saved a bunch of money on both of these not by not buying them in America. So just keep that in mind. Um, but obviously they're still really expensive. And I just thought it was so pretty. It was like this beautiful pinky purple color. And it's like silk and so soft. And I know you guys saw my Instagram picture that I tied it into a top. So you can be super like creative, especially with a scarf like this big. And you can make it into a top like that where you tie in the front. You can make it into like a bandana top like that. That's so pretty. You can wear it like as a bandana like that. <laughs> you can wear it as a scarf. You can wear it like as it's supposed to be. You can wear it a million different ways. So I love this so much and I think it's so pretty. You can also tie it around a bag, like around the handle. That's what the guy there was telling me. And he thinks it's so cute when people do that. So that's that and I love it and I really don't have that many scarves, so yes. Also, I didn't have just like a plain black bag that I could just slink on for like nighttime or daytime, just you know, when you need a tiny little black bag. So this I thought was so perfect and it actually comes with a chain like inside, so it just looks like this. And you can wear it as like a little clutch too, just holding it. But I love it so much as like a tiny little crossbody and like I said, I just literally had none and it just like jumped out at me and it was so cute and Maggie was like, I love it too. And we were both obsessing over it. So we actually both got it. And we, like, don't mind when each other has the same things or anything. So 
I love this so much. And it has a bunch of pockets in here. It has like one all the way back here. It has a bunch of like card holders right there. There's a zipper in the front. And I had nothing from Saint Laurent either. Oh wait, I have Saint Laurent sneakers, but not like bags, so. Yeah, I just thought it was so cute. And like, even though they're really big purchases, they'll always remind me of Italy and they're like super sentimental to me. So that's when I think it's good to splurge and spend a lot of money on things, especially with stuff you're gonna use a lot. Yeah, the rest of the stuff I'm gonna be showing you from, it's from Express, actually, I led. These are from Gucci as well, but I got these the day before I went because I wanted to wear them on the plane in there when I was like traveling around and stuff. But they're just the slides with like the red and green little bows on them. I know I showed them in a vlog, but I thought I would just show them in a haul because I wore them in a bunch in Italy too. Rachel, you guys know Rachel Lindsay. She was the bachelorette and I follow her on Instagram and I saw an Instagram story of her wearing them and I just love them and knew I needed them. So then I went and got them and I love them. They're so cute. I'm about to go to Soul Cycle and I'll wear them there. So... <laughs> Really bougie. <laughs> okay, the rest of the stuff I'm going to be showing you is from Express. A bunch of stuff I wanted for Italy, but actually just these got shipped separately and came like the day before I left. So I wore these the whole time. I don't know if you can tell how like worn in they look now, but they're kind of um, raggedy already. I think they said Express on down here, but I wore them out. But they're still really good quality shoes. Like they're still holding up and I love them and I think they're so cute. But the reason they look like this is because I walked eight or nine miles every day for two weeks straight in these puppies. I wore them literally the whole time because they go with everything and they're so adorable. So I'd highly recommend, again, I'll have them linked down below. But yeah, that's why those are worn in. And the rest of the stuff is new. So this dress I thought was so, so cute when I ordered it and I love it. It's so soft. It's like this beautiful kind of vintage -y, not vintage, like acid wash, is that what it's called? Kind of like distressed gray. And it's like a t-shirt dress and I love the little detail on the back that makes it a little different and I just love wearing these t-shirt dresses like running around doing errands in the summer because you don't even have to think about your outfit you just throw it on you could also dress it up with like your little YSL crossbody and like booties or something to like for dinner you know so I just like am obsessed with the stuff I got from Express then this I just pulled out from the middle because I couldn't wait to show you any longer it's this army green romper and I love this I actually just ordered a army green What's it called? Not play suit, jumpsuit with like the long pants from Princess Polly because once I got this, I was like, oh my gosh, I want it in long, I want it in everything. I think it's just so cute. I think this is so stinking cute and way different than anything I have. And it just looks like that. I feel like, um, what's it called? Indiana Jones or <laughs> like, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> These, I've been like camo queen, especially from Express. You guys know I have this, those two camo sweatshirts and everyone's like obsessed with them and wants to know where they're from. They're from Express. I don't think they sell them anymore though, which is sad. And they were kind of overpriced TBH. They were like 80 bucks and I'm like, okay, why are these such $80? Like they're the best sweatshirts ever, but like why are they $80, you know? These are just like light camo print jeans. They're kind of like distressed looking, frayed at the bottom. And I just thought they were so cool because I don't have that many like camo pants. So these are gonna be really fun to style. I've literally been a camo queen. Okay, then when I was scrolling through the jeans, because you guys know, or I don't know if you know, but their jeans are actually my favorite. Like so many of my jeans are from Express, like probably most of them, the majority. And I only have skinny jeans, but do you remember when you were younger? I remember when, younger, we'd always, when I was younger, me and my friends would always wear like boot cut Abercrombie jeans, just boot cut jeans were the thing. And I don't even really know if they're in right now, but I saw a model wearing these ones and I thought they looked so cool on her. They just flare out like the teeniest bit. So I think that makes them like boot cut and not flare. And they're like ripped on the knees, but they're still like skinny and fitted all the way down and then just flare out like a tiny bit. So I thought these were like so cute on the model. I really hope they're cute on me too, but I just thought I would switch up the jeans, you know, because I have so many skinny jeans. These I am so excited to wear. They're just like, tan wedges from express i had one pair of wedges for the past uh, four years since i graduated high school and i've worn them like crazy my steve madden ones and they're so dingy now because i've worn them for so long so i knew i needed a new pair and these are perfect and they look a little bit lower than my steve madden ones my steve madden ones were like five inch wedges and i couldn't walk in them so these seem a little bit more reasonable maybe like three and a half four so i'm really excited to wear those in the summer as well i just got this swimsuit top because i thought it was so beautiful it's like this pinky red color and it just like has those ruffles right there and i can mix it and match it with so many bottoms i already have so i love that as well and this bodysuit i have in black but i just ordered it in this like maroon purpley color and okay literally on camera it looks maroon but in real life it looks purple so yeah it's like kind of somewhere in between and yeah, it's just like deep V long sleeve bodysuit and I wear my black one all the time. So I thought it would be fun to get in a different color. Then these I saw, I feel like these were on sale or clearance. So maybe go check these out quick if they're still available on their website. Because they're just gray leggings but they have stars all down the side. And they remind me so much of 
if you guys know my is it Tommy Hilfiger I'm pretty sure my it's mm, gray it's like really dark gray Tommy Hilfiger zip up and has stars on the sleeves like right here and Maggie and Maggie doesn't have hers anymore Emma still has hers and I got them because they have them and I thought it was so cute so basically what I'm trying to say is these remind me of that and I just love like stars right now like as a detail I think it's really cute and then this shirt I got because Mandy had it in literally the same one but in black and I thought it was so cute so I just got it in like tan like a t-shirt and just has like a little slit right there you know then this bodysuit I saw and was like whoa baby I need it I literally have this exact bodysuit in white already and so I was like why don't I have a black one and got it in black and this black bodysuit I was like also I need this I had a black American Apparel halter one and I lost it so long ago so this is literally just like that but from Express and I'm really excited to wear that out as well. This I would say has to be my favorite thing out of this whole haul video because when I saw it online I was like oh baby I need that. I feel like I'm always looking for like a plain white sweatshirt just to throw on with like anything because white will match literally anything. So this I saw online and I was like this is literally so perfect. It's not just a plain white sweatshirt that will look kind of like lazy because it, it has like the um what's it called? lace up detail right there it like imagine if it, this was just plain white you would think you like rolled out of bed but i think with that detail it like looks really cute and i'm so excited to wear that okay two more things so these black jeans i got because like i said their jeans are my favorite and i want to say their jeans run big too because i get a two in their jeans and i am just not a two anymore i was like a zero and a two in high school but in um, express jeans i'm a two so i think they run a bit big normally in their shorts and skirts i'll get like a four just because i like shorts and skirts to fit looser than like jeans like i want jeans to be tight and like, suck me in you know but anyway so i got these black high-waisted jeans and they have some distress distressness like holes in the knees and I think they're really cute and you can never have enough black jeans and then the last thing I got I thought was so cute it's just this long sleeve pinky champagne like satin top that like laces up in the middle and this will be so good for like going out to dinner and stuff I just love it I think it's so cute and yeah I think that was everything wow that took me a while to show everything but um everything I got in Italy I'm so obsessed with and then everything I got for like before and after and around Italy I'm also obsessed with I think it's so cute again everything will be linked down below so you can check it out if you are interested and yeah thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye